Welcome to God's Own TV. Almighty God, we grant your request. Tokbe Alabi reacts to controversy over Aboru Aboye. Minister Tokbe Alabi, a popular Nigerian gospel artist, has reacted to the controversy generated by her song, Aboru Aboye. Recall that the gospel minister was attacked heavily on social media after a video of her song ministration on Aboru Aboye went viral. According to her attackers, the word Aboru Aboye is used by traditionalists and shouldn't be used in a gospel song. Contributing to the viral video, some traditionalists also insisted that the terms belong to Ifa worshippers sharing the origin of the word. Aboru Aboye, Kiki Babala Woni. Mm. Aboru Aboye, Kiki Temun Ki Babala Woni. Interview my Kinepe, I'm Fim Bori Fum Babala Wo, Netori, and Woman. I am web. Meanwhile, Minister Alabi, in her bid to clarify the controversy, disagreed with her critics, noting that the word Aboru Aboye is pure Yoruba and is not solely used by traditionalists. Furthermore, she referred to the Bible to portray her point, which justified her intentions for using the word. In her words, she said, It was recorded that David made a sacrifice of faithfulness to God. Why was the word sacrifice not written as the same English word in the Yoruba version of the Bible? It is a Yoruba language. There is no special language for traditionalists. We are all speaking the Yoruba language. If some people say they want to use the language in their own style, it is not bad. We have also decided to use it in our own style. While reiterating that sacrifices were rendered in the Bible, she further queried, saying, Was Abraham. No, I sacrifice accepted or not? Was it not the same with Isaac? Also, she established her point with specific reference to Romans 12 verse 1, which says, Brethren, by the message of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. According to her, the word acceptable is the aboru, while living sacrifice is apoye.